was just speaking to the director uh, about you and why you're such a good action hero. <laughs> so, so I was wondering, why do you think you are so good at being an action hero? Uh, I don't look at it as anything different as kind of any other role. I, I um, you know, it just means that I have to go to the gym all the time, you know. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, but, um, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I, it's funny, like the first time somebody let me be in an action movie was The Bourne Identity, and, and Doug Lyman cast me in that, and I remember saying, like, why are you casting me in this movie? <laughs> you know, I'd done Good Will Hunting and The Talented Mr. Ripley, and I, everyone was like, you know, I don't think anybody believed it was the kind of appropriate casting, so it's weird to, you know, 16 or 17 years later to, to, to be called that. I, I, I've always just thought of each role as, you know, I mean, literally, an action an action role just basically means having to be in shape so that I don't get injured. <laughs> but did you dream about that when you were a kid to be action? I think I definitely, you know, played. I had a lot. I had a very active imagination and did a lot of imaginary play, and you know, had you know a cape, my 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 red towel if I wanted to be Superman, and this one if I my blue one if I wanted to be Shazam, and you know, and I had the kind of games that I would make up and stories that I would that I would play out, um, and. Um, that was probably the beginning of being a, a, a writer and an actor, um, because I was probably did it a little more than most kids. <laughs> so you knew really early on that you wanted to become an actor? Yeah, I mean, I, I told my mother when I was 13, but she says that she knew when I was two. But she, she, she's a professor of early childhood development, and so she claimed that she could tell. But I don't know if that's just Monday morning quarterbacking or not. So I spoke to you about Norway last time because you went there, yeah. and you said that you saw polar bears. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any Norwegian at all when you no, were there? No, no, we were there for <laughs> such a short time, and we were on a boat, so we were kind of we weren't even in town. Like we didn't interact with, uh, you know, the only locals that we hung out with were um, were everybody running the boats and and you know taking it because we shot we we lived on the water and then we shot on the water and then we'd go back to the big boat to sleep and then we'd go out on the little boat to film and then back to the big boat so it was a pretty quick trip so i i brought a little note with some norwegian slang so oh, good. next time when you're there okay. then i don't know if you can read it if you understand how you're pronouncing it but you but can try you, if you tell me if you tell me dritkult dritkult oh that's good okay <laughs> sar sar that's good. These are all slangs from, from this what TV show in Norway. Dritkult oh, um, means really, really cool. Really, really cool. Okay. Sar is like a slang for seriously. Uh huh. And then hukadera. Hukadera. That means, did you hook up? Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Ade fors. Ade fors. Hustai. Hustai. På lørdag. På lørdag. Is it a four party at your place on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Kadru. <laughs> Kadru. Fuck boy. Fuck boy. That's good. Okay, that means a guy that fucks around. This is <laughs> <laughs> a fuck boy. All right. Mega bra us. Mega bra us. That means really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really. A fuck boy who fucks around really, really good. <laughs> Kukadera, drit, kukadera, sar, ate, fors, kustai, poliorda, fuckboy. Miega brahas. Hi there, thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it, and if you did, there might be some other interviews you like on my channel. So please subscribe by clicking this button down here, and hopefully, I'll see you again. Thanks again for watching. Bye.